what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're doing another couple episodes of the last kingdom season four episodes three and four is here today last episode we saw Uhtred basically he's in trouble Alfred's son killed him <laughs> it's like I'm the heir to Bebenberg now man another fight another time Uhtred finally got a chance to take to take back Bebenberg and now this shit, right? Um, and if freaking Edward would have just helped him out, it would have been no problem. It would have been no problem for him to take the castle. Now, it looks like he's probably going to be um, captured or killed or whatever the situation is. I know he's not going to die because of plot armor and all that stuff. But at this at the same time, it's like he's definitely in trouble. I don't want to see Uhtred as, as a slave again. Like, I don't want to see that. If they could get out, um, I think somebody major is probably going to die in this next episode. I just don't want that to happen. I think maybe Uhtred is going to get captured and Edward going to have to try to rescue him. Um in some way of course you know lord f whatever what's his name again i don't even ethelheld right i'm pretty sure ethelheld is going to advise him against it if that's how it goes but we'll we, we'll see we'll definitely see i don't spend too much time here on the intro just know that right now i am the, the what's going on at the castle too it's it's just they heard about what happened right now it looks like Brita and Knut has taken freaking, they've taken Ethelred's, Ethelred's Red's palace, right? They've taken the palace, but Ethelred has attacked all those small little villages and stuff, camps that they've left out there. Um, all of this is happening because of Eston pitting them against each other you get what i'm saying he's pitting them against each other because you don't want to fight no more you know what i'm saying he's such a bitch bro Eston is such a bitch i'm oh he's another one that needs to die very soon you know so see you guys for the review All right, so that was episodes three and four of The Last Kingdom season four. <laughs> I have to say, man, The Last Kingdom is just, it's just done so well. It's just done so well. You know what I'm saying? The flow of how the show is going, um, you know, it's just, it's just awesome. I just you feel like you're so immersed into the show like you you feel like you're a part of these people's lives you know what i mean and i love when shows do that you know i love when i'm watching a show and i can feel like i'm the the world is alive and it's not just thinking about it like it's a hollywood set you know what i'm saying like you think about it as if that's the time we're living in and and i wish i was a character <laughs> you know what i mean so i love that aspect about it how it just pulls you in to become you know a part of the show um of course you know that battle was well done was very grounded no you know super super actions and moves you know <laughs> you know um i'm very disappointed even though i'm not a big stay up a fan edward just dude you just stood and then you have the nerve to blame blames Ethel fled for for his death, nigga. You stood there and watched the dude get his head clubbed in. You stood there. You could have ran over and at least try to stab the dude before. But no, no. <laughs> Let me watch. You know what I'm saying. So that was kind of like weird for me because, um, I couldn't believe that he actually stood there. It's like, dude, what? what the hell the dude just saved your life now he's knocked down and you just stand there and watch a dude literally probably came off his horse and killed the dude you know what i'm saying it's it's just uh it irritated me and also i wanted to talk about 
Edward. Just his overall character. I am very surprised that they're writing him like this. There was nothing really to lead up to him being this way. Like how we had the Alfred transformation from him before King into King. And, you know, treatment of Uhtred into forgiveness. So, we don't have that timeline with Edward. It's more of like, he's acting this way out of, is it Ethelhel's, it is, it is, is it Ethel? Is it Hethel? Hethel? Whatever Hethelhelm? Whatever his name is, okay. The the um the father-in-law. I'm wondering if it's his influence over him. I think it's more his influence over him more than anything else that causes him to. I don't know, but I don't know why he's loyal to this guy. There's no, you know what I mean. And then from a more. Sometimes it's really hard to explain these characters because they're so complex. You don't really know what they're thinking and how they're really acting. You get what I'm saying? I love what they're doing with Elswit character, having kind of like a redemption arc with her. I love that. But Edward, Edward's character at this point in the story is just like, so you really came on to be a worse king than your dad, even though you know. Even though at the end of season three, the way how he acted towards Uhtred, I thought he would, I thought he would be a little bit more accepting, but I know this is like, I don't know. They did, they did do, there is a time skip from the end of season three to where we begun at season four. There is a time skip. I just don't know how long it is, but I don't think it's a significant time skip. It's more of like, it, Edward is, is definitely older. He's definitely older than the end of season three. He's definitely older than that. Um, so him being under that influence is not it's it's just not good. Like I don't like the way how he acts. It's irritating sometimes because it's just like, dude, I get it. You know, you want to protect Wessex. You get what I'm saying? It was it it wasn't the right. It wasn't the best thing or the right thing to do with Elswith, but she wanted to protect her daughter. So she had to seek get the help where she could get it or where she, she had to try to get the help from who she think would help and promise them shit. You get what I'm saying? Because you wouldn't act to go save your own fucking sister. And even fr your freaking father-in-law is there telling you to sacrifice her. But you're not going to say nothing about that, huh? You're not going to say it. you show up to the battle late after you after do they didn't think you was going to come right now. You know what I'm saying? Uchi want to give you a piece of his mind. It's just like, dude, you're a freaking coward. My guy, you have to protect the ones you love. You have to protect the ones you love. Wessex was in no immediate danger for you. To, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like they weren't planning. They're trying to pull you out into the open. You get what I'm saying? Not for them to to get to Wessex because they have a stronghold that they know they can beat you out into that, you know, in that area, they could beat you easily. So they're trying to pull you out. I get that. You know the strategy. You don't want to fight on Knut's terms. We get all of that. But your sister has put herself in danger because she belongs to somewhere else. She belongs to people of Mercia. That's who she's, she's trying to protect. Just like how you have somewhere to protect. She has somewhere. To, she's not telling you to send all the freaking kingdom to come and help her. But send some amount of people to go and help them with the battle. You get what I'm saying? If you're building all of this stuff around Wessex. All of these structures and stuff like that. Building up the defense of Wessex. Why is it that you can't send people to go and help Mercia? That was your perfect chance for you to take freaking Mercia. Because freaking Ethelred has left the freaking palace unguarded, which is, was another dumb move. He's so stupid. You get what I'm saying? With Ethelred doing that, it was just, why would you leave your palace undefended? That's another dumbass thing he did again. Because even if you think the enemy has left, that is no reason to leave your stronghold in Mercia undefended. That's dumb. Leave enough men behind, at least fighting men, to hold off these dudes. Maybe they would have lost, but you, 
you wouldn't have been saying undefended. You get what I'm saying? So I totally didn't expect that. But Canute is dead, rightly so. He's the one that set up Ragnar or set Ethelwald on Ragnar um, because he wanted to lead the army. Um, of course, Esten still alive, still thriving. Um, of course, you know, there are things that, that happened during these two episodes that w was I I is left for you to, to ponder about. So there's still storylines there that I want to see develop, i.e. the relationship between Uther and his son. I um, want to see that thrive. His son was in there, though. His son was in there fighting. I would, I never, uh, um, you guys can let me know how old Uhtred's son is at this point. I don't know the timeline, okay, because they do not say these things in the show, you know. It's a pet peeve of mine, but, you know, you don't have to. He obviously, he's older. He looks like a teenager, though. He looks like a teenager, maybe early teens, maybe 14, maybe 14, 13, maybe even 15 years old. He looks, um... Um, so I don't know, but he looks like he's a teenager. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, I think I touched on all the subjects I wanted to touch on. Um, Brita, they've, they've figured out a way to give Brita a n new reason to hate Uhtred. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> I am tired of the, the, the back and forth with these two characters. I really am. I'm tired of it. I don't I don't hate it. You know, it doesn't make me hate the show or anything like that or love the show any less. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time it's just uh, it's just it's not that I wish her to be dead. At that point I would have I think that was a great time to kill her character if if i'm to be really honest with you guys i think that was a great moment for them to end her character because you know now she's gonna have a kid which is as uh, she's still pregnant right um i think if Uhtred has taken her out and then found out she was pregnant he would have waned on him he didn't want to kill more of his friends and i get it you get what i'm saying like i'm i'm okay with the decision to not kill her character in a moment like that because Uhtred doesn't know that she's pregnant, right? And it would have killed him if he found out after that she was pregnant. It, it would have destroyed him. Um, as if his character don't, doesn't have enough to deal with, right? Um, but I wouldn't have hated the, the decision to kill her in that moment either. She wanted it. You get what I'm saying? Um, it would have been a great send off for her, but at the same time, the repercussions of it is, is him killing a child. You get what I'm saying? It would have broken him. Maybe you would have believed that he's cursed because of it. So there's all that too. But in any case, guys, I think I've spoken enough of this subject. I tried, I tried to keep my reviews 10 minutes and under 10 minutes, 10 minutes or less. Um, I try to do that. I try to keep my reviews 10 minutes or less. Um, if it goes over, it goes over as if it's if I like season enders, I'll, you know, you know, it varies. I might go over 10 minutes. I might not, but, um, for the most part, I try to keep them for 10 minutes or less. So I think I've spoken about everything, you know, still RIP Bianca, man. Um, I don't know, man, that, that new girl, I don't know what her name is. I can't remember her name because they just always refer to her as a sister and stuff like that. I don't think, I don't think I've heard her name yet. Maybe. I don't know. What's her name? I don't know what her name is, but the red hair chick, the one that's, that, well, um, that, um, that had to sleep with Ethelred. I don't know her name, but she's, she's definitely... The, you know she's taking the spot she's taking the spot i know i haven't said anything but she in in my eyes she's more beautiful than at the flood she's she's better looking not like we let's not let's not front here <laughs> you know what i'm saying let's not front here she's better looking than at the flood um that is not a situation where you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder or anything like that she is better looking is she a better character no but 
you know, she's better looking. So, you know, we're keeping tabs. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate you guys so much. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, and I will catch you guys next time. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.